another highlight on this truck. Uh, there is a video, uh, a quick driving video out there on the site. Uh, but this is a 1972 uh, Cheyenne uh, Model 20, uh, which is three quarter ton. Uh, it has a 350 V8 with a four barrel air conditioning, uh, power steering, power brakes, air uh, uh, tilt wheel, uh, deluxe interior, which I'll show you in a minute. And it had the uh, uh, camper special. And uh, pickup campers, uh, a lot of people probably you know, today have younger people have not seen many campers, but it used to be that the primary form of recreational vehicle was a camper model and a pickup truck. This particular model was designed originally uh, for that. And the camper special had uh, a lot of the things that have been removed from this truck. Had, uh, mirrors, extended mirrors on both sides, um, so you can see around the camper, which usually extended a couple feet from the side of the bed to give you extra grip. It has dual gas tanks in it, and it had dual uh, batteries. Uh, the second battery was for plug-in for uh, for the. Uh, most all of this has been removed from this car, from this truck. Uh, so really what's left is a three quarter ton uh, Cheyenne. Um, so I don't know necessarily why they removed those options. Oh, the other thing it had was a, a step up rear bumper uh, and a trailering package, which this one has just a regular car bumper. So the wheels and uh, everything is removed. So I will show you the interior so it has uh, camper light uh, it has a deluxe interior which I replaced it has original carpeting uh, as I mentioned before air conditioning it doesn't have full gauge package I mean from a it doesn't have a tachometer but it has uh, a temperature oil and battery uh, and this one particular model has aftermarket uh, stereo. But really pretty nice, uh, nicely equipped for a truck of its day. I would say it probably had most of the equipment on it. I have installed a, a body colored Rhino liner. I do use this truck um, for various things, not uh, really heavy duty things. And as you can see, it has a regular chrome rear bumper uh, now um, there are the dual gas tanks which are still there and still functional uh, the battery uh, is not the engine bay uh, you can see here is where the additional battery was so I mean you could you could put all that stuff back in and this engine was uh, an engine bay was refreshed by me probably 15 years ago, so it's on a little bit of signs of age, but again, 350, four barrel, and 1972, I'm going to guess that horsepower was somewhere around 200 um, as an oil cooler. Uh, so heavy duty uh, wheels, eight lug wheels, uh, you know, not the best looking uh from a wheel package, but you know, heavy duty tires. Uh, again, it was it was designed to work uh, and not just for cruising around. So anyway, that's a little bit of an update. If you want to see uh, a video of it of it driving, uh, it's all already on the, my channel.